Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I think this video should be titled uh, How Putin Was Fooled by Three Weasels, or A Fool and Three, th three Weasels. Now, who are those three weasels? You're going to find out in a minute. I know who the, the fool is. And it seems like Mr. Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin is the one who got fooled. So, um, we are talking about the Minsk Peace Accords and uh, the agreement between uh, Germany, France, Ukraine and Russia at that time, which guaranteed that the breakaway republics are going to have a referendum or something, they're going to be um, partially um, autonomous within Ukraine and Ukraine will demilitarize and all that. It was a good step. We find out that uh, the three signatories outside from the fool, which is Putin, did not have any intention to follow the or to implement the Minsk agreements, one and two in 2014 and 2015. Instead, they planned to um, arm Ukraine with the United States, of course. So uh, remember, you don't find here Great Britain and United States as the signatories but you find two other weasels. You find Merkel, Angela, and you find, find the former French president, Hollande, right? Now, we found out the three weasels are Poroshenko, the Ukrainian president at that time. Uh, I was about to say Meghan Markle. Uh, <laughs> Angela Merkel, Merkel. And the third one is Hollande, uh, Francois Hollande, the then president of France. So those three weasels, fooled Putin, or you can look at it differently, Putin took advantage of these three people. We're going to see, uh, we're going to interpret that uh, as we read the article. So this article comes from Sputnik, and it's from today, the 30th of December, 2022. Echoing Merkel, or Merkel, former French president, president confirms West lied to Russia on Minsk deal to buy Kiev time to rearm. The revelation, uh, revelation comes a few weeks after Germany's former chancellor admitted that the peace agreement struck in the Belarusian capital in February 2015 was a con contrivance, contrivance used to buy time to build up Ukraine's military after it had been shattered in fierce fighting with Donbas Militias. The Minsk peace accords were never about bringing peace to Donbass. Former French President François Hollande said, has admitted, and I'm quoting Mr. Hollande, since 2014, Ukraine has strengthened, strengthened its military posture. Indeed, the Ukrainian army of 2022 was completely different from that of 2014. It was better trained and equipped. It is the merit of the Minsk agreements to have given the Ukrainian army this opportunity." End quote. Holland said in an interview with Ukrainian media this week. So, Merkel, Poroshenko and Holland, they did what, uh, you know, that's uh, negotiating in bad faith. They did not mean anything that they signed. Remember, when they signed that, that goes to the United Nation and it becomes international law. You know what I mean? Okay. And when these guys want a, a world order based on international law, remember this one, okay? Now, the former French president who left office in 2017 with an approved rating hovering in the single digits, that's how democracy works. You fool the idiot, which is us, the electorate, uh, but we're not below 86 IQ, so uh, when we vote, our vote uh, gets uh, destroyed by an idiot. And these weasels that show tough and with charisma, they get elected, they got four or five years in office to fuck everything up. You can't get them out because you have to work in the system. And you wait five years or four years, depending how long the term is. And that guy has four years a blank or five years a blank check to fuck everything up for future generations. And after five years, he said, bye bye, thank you very much. And he lands a good job somewhere on the board uh, on whatever uh, big company that he served 
while he was in office. So that's, and he's not working there. He's just getting a paycheck or maybe more than one. He's gonna be placed on more than one. Uh, he's gonna be a CEO of this and that and that. He stays home, he looks good. He's the ex-president, former president, and he fucked us up. That's how things are run. So yeah, he left with single digits. Is that how, the, how democracy is supposed to work? Uh, a kind of democracy. I have many options, better options than this one. And uh, I wrote them in my books. You can find them on uh, Amazon. I wrote three books, one about the society overall. The other ones are about the God, uh, God's nature. How I took it from things that are not told to us by these weasels around just from the Old Testament and the New Testament is coming up. Anyway, so let's see what's going on here. And I'm quoting, every month, former Ukrainian president Petro Poroshenko, Angela Merkel, Vladimir Putin and I had long telephone conversations in which we exchanged information on the progress of the Minsk protocols, even if we saw that there was an obvious unwillingness there was still a dialogue, end quote, via the Normandy format, Holland said. Another of the Minsk peace deals, quote unquote, merits was that it, and I'm quoting, didn't allow the area controlled by separatists to expand, end quote, Holland added. Confession is good for the soul. Holland's commit comments are the third confirmation in two months by a senior official involved in the Minsk negotiations and the West as that the West and its Ukrainian client state were never serious about implementing the peace agreement. On December 7, Angela Merkel said that Minsk, and I'm quoting, was an attempt to buy time for Ukraine and that, and I'm quoting again, Ukraine used this time to become stronger as you can see today. The Ukraine of, Ukraine of 2014-2015 is not the Ukrainian of today, end quote, she said. A month earlier, Petro Poroshenko told Russian pranksters Vovan and Lexus that he, and I'm quoting, needed the Minsk Accords to get at least four years to form the Ukrainian armed forces, build up the Ukrainian, Ukrainian economy and train the Ukrainian military together with NATO to create the best armed forces in Eastern Europe, created according to NATO standards, end quote. So, signed on February 12, 2015 by Ukraine and guarantors Russia, Russia, Germany and France, the Minsk peace agreements were a 13-part ceasefire and peace deal, which would have allowed Kiev to restore control over Donetsk and Luhansk, Lugansk regions in exchange for broad, constitutionally mandated autonomy within Ukraine. Over the seven years after the treaty was signed, Kiev stalled on implementing the agreement and continued low-intensity shelling and sabotage attack against the Donbass. Now, that's discussable. An attempt by the then-elected President Volodymyr Zelensky to implement the treaty in late 2019 sparked widespread protest in Kiev led by Poroshenko, headline pro-EU parties and ultranationalist fighters and Donbass war veterans prompting Zelensky to bow, bow down, back down. So Zelensky, the clown, wanted to implement those, but the other guy says, no, 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 we're not going to do that. We're going to go to war, basically. Um, in February 2022, observing a severe, esc a severe escalation of tensions along the line of contact in Donbass and suspected Ukrainian sabotage attacks targeting senior military officials in Donetsk and Lugansk, Russia recognized the part, the pair of self-proclaimed republics as sovereign, blah, 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 and he started the offensive. Um, commenting on Merkel's, Merkel's admission about Minsk this month, President Putin expressed shock and disappointment. Frankly speaking, I did not expect to hear such a thing from the former federal chancellor. But I always proceeded from the idea that the German leadership behaves sincerely with us. Yes, they were on Ukraine's side, supported Kiev, but it always seemed to me that Germany always sincerely th sought a pe peaceful settlement based on principle on the principles that we had agreed on, which we achieved, including with the framework of the Minsk process, Putin said. Now, Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko, who hosted the Minsk negotiations in Belarusian capital back in 2015, did not mice words about Merkel's comments, saying the situation was not just disgusting, but abominable. 
and that Merkel acted in a pretty ob obnoxious way, trying to bring attention to herself. Now, what if the Russians knew this is the other alternative. The first alternative is that the Russians were so clowns, such clowns that they didn't know, they didn't figure things out. You know, that's the first one. But if you trust your person on the other side of the table, you don't think of these things or you take them into consideration, but you say, well, you know, we're honest. Because the easiest way to fool someone if you are his friend or his lover or his, I don't know, partner, marry, married, I don't know, side, however you want to call it. Why? Because you build trust. And when you build trust, you don't verify certain things. Right, and then the other side can play behind your back how much he or she wants. In this case, we have Russia who trusted Germany at least, and these guys were played a very, very nasty bottom feeder uh, trick. We're gonna just lie to you. We're just gonna pretend, you know? Okay. Well, now what if the the, the Russian said, "Well, what are the what are the alternatives? If the Ukrainians and the guarantors, the two French, French, France." And Germany will do what they said they will do under the Minsk Accords. And that's good. That's fine. What if they don't do? If they don't do, we're going to attack them. And we're going to invade them and we're going to take it by force. So either way, we're going to win. The second option is a little bit more costlier. But anyway, so do you think that the Russians did not made head plan B, C, D, E and so on for alter alternate hypothesis and scenarios? I guarantee you they had. If they didn't, they're dumb. I mean, that's a reality. When you go, you look, you, you prepare yourself, you plan. Okay, what if this happens? This. What is this? This is a response. This is a response. And sometimes you don't like what response you have to provide to a certain issue, like this one. For them, it would have been much better to be the other way, I'm guessing. I mean, less costly and all that. But it seems like a plan B done by three weasels, actually. And Putin either, either pretended his fault, but what can he do? He, could he have said, I don't trust you, you three are no good, <laughs> pieces of uh, bum bum bum, or pam pam pam? I don't think so. So what did, they, what did he do? Okay, let's go along. Hey guys, Shoigu, let's prepare, because they're gonna probably prepare, they take their time, all right? I mean, unless you're naive, you think that they say, well, our friends are gonna do that, and okay. So this is it, my friends. Um, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.